Okay. Physical inactivity, it's also related to another really interesting concept, which is this one. And it's very important about emotional regulation. We have three brain networks, the default mode network, the salience network, and the central executive network. Very, very, in a nutshell, the default mode of the network is our rest condition. Uh, we are uh, calm, we are thinking about ourselves. Uh, it's uh, the network we, we enhance uh, while we are meditating, but it's not always good. If we are stuck in the default mode network, we can start to be overthinkers. And if our thoughts uh, are not uh, good or productive, uh, of course, uh, this is not good for us. So we have to switch among them uh, to adapt uh, properly to the um, contingent situation. Then we have the salience network. And the salience network is uh, really important because it is our uh, radar is evaluating different criteria, threat, uh, risk, context, uh, hierarchies, uh, social clues, uh, physical resources. And physical resources, once again, is our possibility to face a problem with our own resources. And physical activities is fundamental for that. But not only, because we are also looking at contextual clues, uh, Imagine this, a person stuck at home, standing in front of his uh, PC hours and hours. What is physically doing is inactive, but there are two problems, big, really big problems. The first one is uh, his neck is stuck. When the neck is stuck, the science network starts uh, beeping like the radar in the submarine with a big, big alert. Because the ability to rotate our neck is a very important uh, factor that the science network evaluates. Think back to the evolution to understand this. If you can't move your head properly, you can't explore the space uh, and you can't save your life. And the same for the second problem of a person stuck in front of his PC or a smartphone. We have uh, our eyes blocked. Functional neurology teaches us that moving our eyes, uh, it's really important to have a proper adaptation to the world. So, we have to move, of course, for many reasons, in different ways. So, for this last um, topic, the problem is something we can solve easily with a concept I like to call uh, emotional buffer. Emotional buffer is the way to reverse uh, the effect of being stuck. And so neurobiology teaches us that we, if each 25 minutes, we take from two and a half to three minutes, moving our neck, looking into the distance. So go at the windows, look outside, also, the natural light is very important for other reasons we are going to see in a few minutes. So, moving, moving the body, moving the neck, looking at a long distance. Natural light are three elements that help us a lot to revert this overexcitement of the science network. Um, there is also the possibility to move the head while you um, breathe properly. Uh, I have a technique that um, is called the cross the cycles breathing that is all uh, constructed on these kind of ideas. And uh, it's free, so if you want to try this technique, you can easily try it with this goal in mind. 
the other suggestion, very useful, is to do a light aerobic exercise. A light aerobic exercise for not trained people is just walking for 20 minutes. And it's interesting, it's very effective, and it's a good way to not feeling bored. But light, light physical activities, uh, aerobic activities, it's also one of the primary way we contract inflammation. So if you, we do this daily, we are contrasting this inflammation. It is provoked by eating too much uh, inflammatory foods, but also by uncertainty. So this, we have a simple daily solution contrasting an inflammation that is arising from many different uh, uh, problems. Another way to look at the big map, central executive network is uh, when we try to find a solution. And so sometimes we try to find a solution even, uh, even if it is not a real solution. And so we can read eating too much as a fake solution. And so we have a small brief relief, I'm doing something for me. But it's not an effective solution because I have a lot of problem we have already seen. But these circuits work if we find a real solution so we can go back to rest condition. And eating to uh, contrast a problem of uh, insecurity, of a uh, threat, uh, of feeling not, uh, not adequate enough is not clearly the, the right solution and our brain cannot uh, accept it.